Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here, recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. In previous videos, we've learned how to do a progress animation, a circular progress animation, arc progress animation. What about the gradient we want to apply to a circular progress? We might want, for instance, to start from blue to some sort of red. And the way you would do it in a tool like Sketch is to use an angular gradient. Problem is, that this angular gradient is not supported by SVG. So in fact, if I copy the SVG code for uh, this gradient, you see that there is no coloring in the SVG export because it's not supported by SVG. So we have the linear gradient here, which is supported, radial gradient supported, but no angular gradient. So how can we build such a gradient using SVG primitives that work? So the way we're going to do it is that we're going to cut our circle into arcs and the number of arcs depend on the number of stop colors we want for the gradient. And we're going to interpolate um, colors along the way. So I'm copying my circle here and I'm going to do a half circle. So I'm just going to remove this point here. Perfect and I'm going to rotate it. Perfect. And here for this half circle, I can use a linear gradient, which is supported, no problem. And I'm going to select the stop color, which is at the middle here approximately. And I'm going to do this for the other half of the circle. Perfect. Again, using a linear gradient, I just need to pick my colors properly. And oops. All right. So here we have the exact same uh, shape and gradient using primitives that are supported by SVG and therefore that we can use in React Native. Can we build such angular gradient in five minutes or less? Let's have a look. All right, guys, let's get started. So here we're going to use two tools. The first one are these two functions, which we use to convert from the Polar coordinate system to the React Native Canva coordinate system. We covered these equations in previous videos. I will link to it in the video description. And the second tool we're going to use is the color interpolate package, which we're going to need to calculate or stop colors. So let's get started. We want our progress circle to be a full circle. So it's going to be the full angle is going to be pi divided by two. And we want to have a sampling variable, which is how many uh, arcs do we want to build. And in this case, we want two, but you know, it can be eight, whatever it is. And so we need to calculate the step of the angle, which is simply going to be pi. So two pi is divided by the number of arcs. So a divided by sampling. And now we need to calculate the arcs we want to build. So I'm going to create a new array of size sampling, fill it with zeros and map over it. Oops. And so we're going to return an arc command. So we know that the angle of the arc should be the index of the arc times step. And we're going to move to so x a y a and we need to draw an arc so let's get the arc command here so here we have radius x radius y so we have radius x axis rotation zero we want the small flag swipe flag sweep is one and x y is going to be x of a plus step so where we finish the arc 
and y is going to be also a plus step. Let's draw it to see how it looks like. So I'm going to map the arcs. So we have d i, we return the path command. With the d attribute, we have stroke we've already defined. Stroke is going to be black for now and feel transparent. Let's have a look. All right, looks pretty good. Now we can define our gradients. So for each arc, we're going to define a gradient. So, oops, arcs map di and we're going to return a linear gradient object with two stop. So one, the stop color is I divided by sampling. So we go from zero to one and I need to pass it to the palette object to get the color interpolation. And here it's going to be I plus one. I seem to have a sin. No, it's okay. And offset goes to 0% and here 100%. Let's have a look. And here I'm going to add a key. And I need an ID as well. So um, I'm going to call it gradient and the index. So here fill stroke becomes URL of gradient I. So let's have a look. So that looks pretty good except um, that once we reach 50%, we need to inverse the orientation of the linear gradient, which makes sense. So we're going to check for that. Reverse. So if I divided by sampling is greater or equal than 0, 0.5, so 50%, we reverse the gradient. So reverse, it's 100% or 0%. And here it's the opposite. Sorry about that. Zero or 100. Let's have a look. So that looks very good. Guys, what we can do, of course, is apply the circular progress animation techniques we've learned in previous videos to such angular gradient in order to get beautiful progress such as this one. So if you are interested to learn more about the fundamentals of gestures and animations in React Native, please check out Start React Native of Dev. This is an online course whose goal is to provide you with all the tools and knowledge necessary in order to build delightful user experiences in React Native. So I hope you check it out. I'm looking forward to talk to you guys soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.